Hello. Since I made the first video on how to capture water balloon bursts, I've had a few questions on exactly how it's hooked up. So I thought I'd lay out my equipment on the table here and uh, be a little bit easier to see. So, uh, of course, I've got the Pluto trigger. And then this short cable actually came with the trigger. It's got a 2.5 uh, millimeter connector on one end. And then I'm not sure what you call this on the other end. But that end connects into the, I use a Yongyo trigger. Then I've also got a six foot male to female 2.5 millimeter uh, cable that I use so that I can have my Pluto trigger a little bit further away from the um, flash unit. I guess it's probably not necessary, but something that I do. Connect one end of that into the Pluto trigger. Make sure the trigger is on. Connect the other end to this short cable. And we'll attach the flash. The flash is turned on. And then with the uh, uh, Pluto Trigger app, you're going to want to make sure it's on flash. And of course, you're using sound, the sound uh, tool with it. When you're using flash, the Pluto Trigger requires two sounds. The first sound that it hears will trigger the uh, shutter on the camera. You have to have your infrared turned on on the camera. And the second sound that it'll hear will trigger the flash. Take that up. Um, when I made my original video, I couldn't get the infrared to work. So what I did, I set my uh, shutter speed on the camera to, I think, five seconds or whatever. I'd trigger the shutter on the camera, make a sound so that the green light on the Pluto trigger would uh, go off. If the infrared's turned on, that's when it would normally trigger the camera. And then the second sound that the uh, trigger hears, which would be the balloon popping, would cause the flash to fire. Uh, let me turn on my infrared. We'll try it that way. Okay, so I've got the infrared turned on on the camera. I'll press the play button. The first sound that it hears will make the green light on the Pluto trigger illuminate. The second sound, which I'm just going to slap my leg, but uh, would be normally the balloon bursting. So here we go. I'll turn that back off. And so um, it's pretty much just, just as simple as that. Now, since I did the first video, I got a new set of flashes. I've got these Yongyo YN 560-4s, uh, and it comes with a pair of, of flashes and then a controller uh, or a transmitter for the flashes. So uh, in this case, I took the my original flash off and then put the transmitter on the Yongyo uh, trigger. And when we turn on the both in so we can see them, um, we'll turn on the app. And we can trigger both flashes. I can also trigger the third flash if I wanted to just by connecting the uh, second uh, receiver like this up to the uh, to that third flash and then it'll go off as well. But uh, these uh, 560s don't require, uh, they're wireless so they don't require anything. Uh, anyway, I hope that helps. If there's any questions, please let me know.